one of the ones we got here, one of the bonus ones here, fake eyelashes, okay? If you guys follow on Instagram, I did uh, show you guys that there's kind of two levels to this. The first one is, okay, look, that's what it looks like on the left here of what she looks like without fake eyelashes, then with fake eyelashes. Again, this is something that do, would us men ever think that this is a thing? Like I, I would, it would never register in my mind to like wear fake eyelashes. The, women do this a ton because again, it makes their eyes pop out a little bit. Their eyelashes, you know, longer looks, it just looks better. Um, and then the fake eyelashes, the secondary one to that is that like, uh, I will see women will peel off their fake eyelashes when they come over or whatever before going to bed. Excuse me, uh, put them on, put them on my like side table. And that was something that uh, I did a little post about on Instagram that be careful of that because women will do things like they will take off their earrings, they will take off their necklace, they'll take off their fake eyelashes, they will leave or, or, I've talked to women again, and I, I, do, I can get super honest with women. Women will just tell me everything. Um, I, I know women that will pull out some of their hair to put it somewhere in your bathroom or in your bed if they think you're like a man with high status and they wanna mark their territory. It's like peeing on a fire hydrant if they're uh, a dog, like tr trying to mark their territory because they'll try to like signal to other women to try to get you in trouble. So women will hide their fake eyelashes somewhere where they think you won't find them. They'll pull out their hair, put them around your sink. They'll put it in your shower. They'll do little things that if you aren't observant of it, it'll get you caught and you'll get in some trouble. I've had women gar dig, dig through my garbage cans. Like I, I clean out my garbage cans now whenever a new woman comes because women will dig through it to find like a, a used condom, which always wear protection, guys. If you're going to get in the game, always wear protection. Yes, it feels a million times better without it, but the situation you can put yourself in does not feel a million, it's worth It's worth a million times desensitization to not get trapped, to not get trapped. So definitely wear protection if you're gonna do the deed. Did you bang her? <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, which one? But uh, yeah, of course, that they'll put them off before bed or whatever. Uh, okay, so fake eyelashes with one. Let's see, I got, I think I got four more here. Okay, here's another one, and this one is, uh, it's not quite as like, not like a hidden one, but bathing suits is like women, again, grow up knowing this stuff. They know how to like game the system. They know how to uh, uh, make their body look as best as possible. So look at all these crazy different like bathing suits. Women will try on so many bathing suits. There will be articles that women will, will write like uh, best, best bathing suits for small boobs. Um, best bathing suits for uh, cellulite. Like they will have all of the ways to do it. So women will wear the the bathing suit that can mask their flaws as good as possible and that will accentuate their um, body as good as possible. Women that have a really nice body, they wear basically as small of, of a bathing suit as possible. This skirted one, again, a lot of times what they're hiding is cellulite under there. Um, high-waisted, okay, high-waisted ones right here, which like it's like those old school ones and, and they're making a comeback for some women it's like the feminist bathing suit i'm i'm just like disgusted i, I i'm not turned on at all by the high-waisted bathing suit but another thing at what it will do guys and this is when we, unfortunately we have to talk about it with the whole like trans thing and especially hollywood women right see how many you can find that are in bathing suits but what the high-waisted ones will do too is if it's a transgender is it will cover up their uh their like v they're, uh, what do you call that? Um, uh, you know, the V taper that men have? Like women, women won't, they don't have that. So if, if it's a transgender, she'll be covering up that so you can't see the bones there. So that's another one. Be careful on the high-waisted ones. So <laughs> bathing suits, bikini, all that stuff. What's up, Chad and Tyrone? Chad and Tyrone, my man. I see a lot of you guys from the comments, man, from, from other videos. They also mark on the mirrors or glass in the bathroom to mark territory. Smart, because that, yeah, it's a lot of times, a lot of things just, um, women are a lot more observant uh, about a lot of these, you know, things. So they pick up on all these things. You know, when women are like, did you see that look she gave me? And you're like, what are you talking about? Women are very perceptive about things. So they can place these little things all over that if you're not careful, 
they're doing that to mark their territory to like fend off other women. Again, it's literally like urinating on a fire hydrant for dogs. It's like, this is my territory. Stay away, other ladies. Uh, okay, so that was the bathing suits one. Bikinis, I think we got three more here. Okay, one of you guys said this earlier, the push-up bra. Push-up bra, this, this again would be like more like a guy sticking a cucumber in his pants to portray something like when, like when he's going out. Can you guys imagine going to the club with a big cucumber in your pants? So women will put up the push-up bra. Again, I like it. It looks better. It does. I understand why they do it, but be aware of this so that you're not deceived. You know, look, look at the difference on the left to the right. Looks so much better. Can't fault her for doing it, but guys that fall for it, you know, they got to be aware. Don't, don't fall into the lust, man. Don't fall into the lust of that. All right, let's see. I think I got two more, guys. Two more here. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. You guys said this one, too. The Snapchat filters. I'm not, I don't Snapchat. I've, I've never had a Snapchat. A, a buddy created one for me one time. Never done it because, again, I don't take selfies. Selfies, never take selfies. So Snapchat, unfortunately, that game, a lot of guys fall into the selfie game because they grew up with Snapchat, especially young men out there. That's what they know, and so they just known to take selfies and that back and forth. Um, I think I did a video like way earlier on on my YouTube about uh, how to you know use Snapchat if you're gonna do it. Don't take pictures of yourself. Take pictures of if you're on an adventure, doing something cool, reading a book, things that will raise your status. Because again, that's what women are all about. They want a man with status. And yeah, especially with the Snapchat filters, if you see women that only have Snapchat filters, again, they're hiding something. If a woman just has one and then you can see in the rest, that's a different story. But a lot of women these days, you know, online dating, they're trying to hide a lot and they will just do dog face, you know, whatever this leaf face, you know, all that. <laughs> you guys probably know all the filters. So that was another one. Okay, and then the last one here, and of course there are more guys watching this on the replay i'm talking to you if you guys know of other ones of course i missed a lot of these because there's so many of these um you can post them in the comments below this video but the last one i want to say is plastic surgery and i have two pictures for this one the other one is a new trend that's gonna disgust you i think guys but plastic surgery all right we have botox we got lip injections for fuller lips. Um, you got the Kim Kardashian booty, like booty implants, boob implants, all sorts of plastic surgery, especially if you live in California. So Coach Greg Adams probably sees this all the time. I have a buddy uh, who lives in California and his girlfriend um, works at a, uh, uh, like a plastic surgery place. And she will, you know, tell me how often women will get their Botox and get all the different injections they'll get. They'll get all of this stuff to try to stay youthful, to try to deceive us of the wall. So that's a big one. And there are guys that get suckered into this. They will pay for boob implants. They will pay. If you're, if you're a man and you have a wife and you pay for this plastic surgery, all you are doing is getting her you're, you're raising her value to the point where now she's going to look around and be like, oh, look at more looks I'm getting. A quicker way for her to monkey branch because of hypergamy. You guys know that whole thing. So plastic surgery, that's another like, you know, cuckolding thing is like if you're going to buy her plastic surgery, oh boy, man, uh, you're in for a rude awakening. She's going to use her new assets to attract a different man after you paid for it. What a incredible tragedy, tragedy because... Uh, I know that uh, Jason Stark, yeah, I'm going to talk about that one on the very next one, Jason. 19-year-olds running around with lip injection. It's crazy. Um, so, uh, what was I saying? <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, if you're, if you're going to, oh, yeah, okay, here's part of my, um, uh, you know, like red pilling myself was I remember thinking because, okay, the difference between me when I found MGTOW and I go, okay, I'm MGTOW and I'm proud of it, was I didn't realize, because I never looked into it, about the court system, about all of that stuff that can happen, about child, you know, uh, about family court, child support, alimony, all of that stuff. That made me go, holy cow, like that, do not get married. That like awakened me. But before that, 
what I never wanted to settle down because one, I didn't want to put up with all the games and manipulation that you have to when you're in a long-term committed relationship with a woman. It's just, it's just going to happen. But the biggest thing for me too was like, I, like I said before, I, I'm a singles player when I play tennis, like I like to play singles. I like to rely on myself. And I was always like, shoot, I always work out. Like I eat healthy. What if my wife decides that she never, doesn't want to do that anymore? And like part of the solution in my head, I was like, I guess she could get like boob implants. I guess she could, you know, do other, like I, I, I was like, maybe that could work. So I know why guys go, oh yeah, I want my wife to look good. I'm going to buy her this. I'm going to buy her that. I'm going to get her these injections, all that. But when you really understand hypergamy and then you understand how you are trapped when you get into a marriage because of the laws and all that stuff, then it's just like a double whammy, terrible idea to purchase any type of plastic surgery for your wife or girlfriend. Um, and then the last one, this is again from, uh, Oh no, Bob Dylan, I gotta show that one. My roommate cashed in his 401k to buy his new wife fake boobs. And you know what? He's gonna have fun with those for maybe a year or two. But as she goes out and she starts to get this attention that she hadn't gotten in a while, just a matter of time, especially if he had to cash in his 401k because she's gonna go, oh, this guy, wow, he has a really good looking 401k and I'm getting the attention. Well, sorry, man. You know, you, and then she'll bring up all these things that you did to her and that you oppressed her and this and that. Oh, bad stuff. So good, good advice here. You know, good awareness here, Bob Dylan. Um, all right, the last one, guys, that I'm gonna show you and then uh, and then we'll be logging off here is, uh, and this dude, this is not only the name, man, the name bothers me a little bit. And I've told you guys this, man, you know, I'm a man of God and, uh, this right here is called devil lips. All right. This is a new trend. It's to me disgusting. Women are getting lip injections in plastic surgery to make their lips look like this. Look at that. That looks like, like a clam. That looks like, like a, like a, well, what I would imagine like, like a, like a possum's butthole looks like. And I, guys, I've never looked at a possum's butthole. Just going to put that out there. But it looks like something that might look. This is what women are doing. This is their new thing. Now, now think about why women would do this. Well, no, it doesn't look attractive to us. But remember, women thrive on attention. They thrive on attention. So why would she do this? Because everybody's going to give her second looks. Whoa, whoa, the lips, whoa. And then you're going to have the beta mon men that go, oh, you're so unique. I've never seen a girl like that. Wow. You know, they're just going to feed into that or whatever. This is insanity. <laughs> what? You guys, this, I bet you, most of you guys have not heard of this one. I bet you, most because I just found out about this a few days ago. And I had never, like, I, I was like, this has got to be a joke. No, no, Google, uh, Google devil lips, devil lip surgery or whatever, devil lip injections. And uh, yeah, again, there you go with the name devil. Yeah, you know who's deceiving these women into morphing their body like this? Yeah, but man, gross, gross, gross. But geez, yeah, exactly what a child would do. This is again, a lot of women that have multiple tattoos too. Well, tattoos bring attention. You know, there's a, there's a other issues, other things why women would have a bunch of tattoos. But again, or you, you'll see people that have their whole like face tatted or all that, all the lip rings, all the different rings and all that stuff. Again, it's going to get her a bunch of attention. So man, this one, I'll leave you guys with this one. Have, have fun sleeping tonight. Don't forget, subscribe, like, comment, share the video, but definitely subscribe.